Well, taking the mound this afternoon for the Tampa Bay Rays is going to be right-hander Taj Bradley. He has lowered his ERA from 5.81 all the way down to 2.43, not allowing a lot of base runners. He's only given up three home runs in his last nine starts and is currently working on a 23-inning scoreless streak. Well, here's Edwards stepping in, all set to play. 3-2, skied into left. Palacios is over there waiting for this one to finally come down. One away. Here's Jake Berger. And Walls at short. Across to Yandy. So fly ball and a ground out. Two up, two down to get this one underway. Now Stowers. And he's going to get it. One, two, three inning for Taj Bradley. And now he's reached 24 straight scoreless to the bottom of the first. Rodery Munoz back on the bump. His 12th start of the season and no decision against the Orioles on July 25th. Two out, no one on, no score, leaves it for Christopher Morell. The home run is 19th of the year last night. First hit in a Rays uniform with 420 feet, and there's a shot down the line and left, and that baby's gone. Home run to give the Rays a 1 nothing lead. Well, Morell's first hit in the big leagues was a home run. His first two hits in a Rays uniform, home runs. How about that? Gives him 20 on the year. Braves have gotten a lead for Taj Bradley. Right-handed batting Jonah Bride is their first baseman, leading off the second inning. High fly ball, deep left field, and Jonah Bride gets just enough. Just over the wall, and a home run for Bride to tie things up. If they homered twice in yesterday's game, Bryant takes a 1-1 fastball on top of the zone and just gets enough of it. Solo homer by Jonah Bryant answers the Morrell home run. And now at the end of one and one half, it's Miami one and the Rays one. One out walk issued by Rodri Munoz to Richie Palacios, who's got 18 stolen bases this season. He's at first. It puts a little pressure on Munoz. He works out of the stretch. And statistically, it increases DeLuca's chances. Palacios is running in the pitch. Fastball strike. Throw down to second base, and he's in there on a wide throw. A wide throw off to the right by the catcher Sanchez, and Palacios continues to steal at a very high rate of success. There's a liner up the left field side. That's a fair ball. Going to wind up in the corner. Stowers grabs it, almost went into the stands. Palacios will score, and DeLuca winds up at third. Stowers found himself kind of teetering on that low wall down there, and the Rays retake the lead two to one. And Munoz, to his credit, and the bottom part of the Rays order, holding the runner at third, who had been there with only one out. Rays do take the lead, though, in the RBI triple by DeLuca, and at the end of two complete, it's Rays two, Miami one. Well, a change for the Rays. Palacios is going to leave this game, and Dylan Carlson just acquired with all of the transactions made just acquired from the Cardinals and he makes his race debut out there in left field now as we go to the third. The Dow Brujan do up for the Marlins and he is one guy that is very comfortable here at Tropicana Field and that is because he is a former Ray. Brujan signed with Tampa as an international free agent back in 2014. This one toward the right center field gap and that will get down and it's going to be two bases for Brujan. He will stop at second with a leadoff double. That one to the backstop. And Brujan will move up 90 feet. That's ball four, and the Marlins have runners on the corners. So first and third and nobody out. The tying and lead runs aboard in the top of the order coming up with Xavier Edwards. Lifted out towards shallow right center, and it's going to be DeLuca. Here comes Brujan. The throw is off the mark, and it's a sacrifice fly. Not really deep at all, but I would think good scouting by the Marlins, knowing that DeLuca doesn't have the strongest or more, most accurate throwing arm. They run on him and get this game tied up. Now Jake Berger. Well, if you were first and third not out, and you limit the damage to a single run, you feel pretty good about your chances. And Berger stays red hot, launching to left. A two-run home run for Jake Berger. A 4-2 Marlins lead. Berger with a bomb off of Bradley. Third home run in five games. Race had advantages at 1-0 and 2-1 before Miami answered. Pitch is rolled on the ground toward third. Going to be a tough play if it's fair, and it hits the bag for an infield hit. And Yandy Diaz, who hits so many hard hit baseballs for outs, has the softest type of contact for a hit. One away here in the third, Marlins leading 4 2. Rounds this one to third, backhanded by Rivera. That's one, and the Marlins go around the horn for the double play. 5 4 3 to get us to the fourth. Josh makes the turn at second, will hold with a leadoff double. And the Rays 
have something cooking down 4-2 in the fourth. Back-to-back strikeouts for Rodery after the leadoff double by Lowe. So from man at second, not out, to man at second, two out, and it'll take a Johnny DeLuca hit to get the Rays a run closer. Lined in and out of the glove of Rivera, but Edwards recovers in time. How do you like that? Do it, X-Man. 5-6-3 on the play that ends the fourth inning. So the leadoff double goes for not here in the fourth. Edwin Uceta out of the Rays bullpen after five innings of work for Taj Bradley. There is a line drive, and that is slammed out towards the gap in left center field. Bride is around first. He's headed towards second. Throw comes in, not in time. Jonah Bride has his second extra base hit of the afternoon. He's two for three. It's called strike three, and Uceta throws another zero on the board. Guys allowed one run in 18 and two thirds. Just the double by Bride, and that's all. So he walks Josh Lowe, getting the tying run of the play down, Jose Caballero. There goes Josh Lowe, pitches up and the throw into the runner, but down toward the feet, and no chance to put a tag on him as Josh Lowe picks up his 10th stolen base of the year. There's a swing and a miss by Caballero, and the inning is over. And the Rays come up empty. We go to the seventh. So Bruja now with a couple of hits today. Gordon stops at second, and all of a sudden, a couple of singles, and the Marlins have two on not out. Uh, make sure that you score a couple of runs here the best you can. We know Sanchez can bunt. He's a really good bunter. Might be the best bunter on the team, sacrifice bunting. Gets the bunt down, back to the mound, looking at third, and got away from the third baseman, Caballero, who deadened it at least enough. I mean, Uceta fired up bullet over there so the bases are loaded now and if you want the Marlins to tack on this would be the group to do it the top of the order so here's Edwards the runner at first is Sanchez that into right center field down for a base hit one run is home here comes Bruhan he'll score Xavier Edwards delivers a two run single six to two one gone here's Johnny DeLuca as Tanoka gets the all important first out and it's up the right side extra base is coming here beyond the bullpen DeLuca rounding second. He's going to head for three, and he's going to make it easily. A three-base hit. It's second of the day. Second triple of the day for Johnny DeLuca. It comes with one out in the seventh. One out triple by Johnny DeLuca, his second of the day, and the Rays can't cash it in here in the seventh. Marlins still leading 6-2. to two. They'll take that lead into the eighth. And there's one gone here in the Rays' eighth inning. Rays are down four, and they have just five outs remaining as they try and make it four straight wins. Ground ball headed toward the hole and off the glove of Edwards. He tried to backhand it. Brandon Lau has a base hit. One out single. So two gone for Josh Lowe. has had good at bats. A double a walk a line out. That's going to be a base hit the other way in the left. Lau up to second. And the Rays put two men on base. As Josh Lowe's on for the third time in this game. The Rays need some sort of jolt. At some point you got to get a bunch back. As the Rays are down four with only four outs to go. Now he kicks and fires the one two pitch and it's over the outside corner of the plate called strike three. Bender punches out two leaves two in the bottom of the eighth inning. Marlins trying to finish off a split here and finish off their lead. Hopefully give Rodery Munoz a win. Calvin Fauche into his 39th game this year. He'll face Carlson DeLuca and Walls. Two up and two down. And here is Taylor Walls. Again, a payoff pitch and a strike three. It's a Marlins win. Outstanding job by the ball club to regroup uh, today after a very difficult day yesterday with all the trades and all the players going in different directions. They come back and get a much, much needed win here against a team that pretty much has had their number for a number of years. Great game today.